We'll come back to the 10th session in Tickets Basket, the full cloud project with the ASP.NET Core, Blazor WebAssembly, and Azure. In the previous video, we have registered the applications that we are going to leverage from the, uh, the API and the Blazor WebAssembly project for authentication within the Azure Active Directory P2C. We have created uh, the server application and the client application. The server exposes an API called API.ReadWrite, which is actually the scope uh, that's going to be used across the system for accessing the resources in the API and the application for the client that allows the user to log in, register, reset the password, and so on. So uh, the last step in authentication is basically just to create the applications, the ASP.NET Core Web API with the Blazor WebAssembly configured with individual user account authentication connected to Azure Active Directory P2C. So let's get started. From the last video, we have got this file that contains the tickets basket server, the name of the server application, and this is the client ID of that app. And uh, this application exposes an API or a scoop called API.ReadWrite. And the client application, the app, the, the, and the, this is the client ID for that app. Basically, also, this is the domain name of our Active Directory or of our tenant, ticketsbasket.onmicrosoft.com. So that's great. Within this video, we are going to create the ASP.NET Core application. It's very, very simple steps. And then we will move to creating the Blazor Web application. And after that, we can uh, complete with the database repositories and start with the logic of the application. So let's get started. The first thing I have to do is just to go to Visual Studio. And here we have this models. I will right click here on the server, click add new project. And I will choose ASP.NET Core Web Application at next. Let's give it a name. It's going to be ticketsbasket.api. Then I click create. OK, great. Here we have all the templates that ASP.NET Core uh, Web API provides to us. Uh, web uh, application, sorry. We should choose API. And here, from the authentication uh, section, choose change. And here we have, you should choose individual user account because our application is going to be used by individuals. Maybe they are organizer or user, but they are uh, individuals. And from this one, connecting to an existing user store in the cloud, which is basically uh, Azure Active Directory P2C application, as you can see here. Here, you have to specify the domain name. You can copy paste it from here, or it is the name of your tenant on Microsoft.com. Let's paste it here. Then the application ID, the ID of the server application. Here it is. Let's copy that. Or if you want to bring that from the Azure portal, just basically go to Azure Active Directory P2C, add registrations, and go to the tickets basket server app. And here it is. This is the client ID of your server application. Just copy it and paste it there. Uh, the last parameter we have to pass is the sign up or sign in policy. If you remember from the first video in Azure Active Directory, if we go back here, we have something called policies and user flows. If we open up, we have created uh, two, one for sign up and sign in and another one for reset password. So basically, we need this one. Copy it. And let's just paste it here. Click OK, and then hit Create. That was very easy, and basically that's everything to implement a secure API with Azure Active Directory P2C. Yes, yeah, so actually it is that easy. Just create the application and uh, in the Azure Active Directory and create the project here, and it is done. There is nothing you have to do, but if you open up right now app settings.json, here what you are going to see. There is a set of uh, configurations or options related to the authentication system. The instance, which is basically uh, HTTPS login or Microsoft online.com slash TFP client ID and domain. We have the sign up sign in policy ID. So you can specify them here. And basically this one uh, should be changed to another thing. It's going to be Tickets basket dot p2c login dot com. It's going to be like that. So make sure to change it. And this is everything you need to do. After that, if you go to program.cs, 
here you are going, sorry, to startup.cs, and here as well, you will find that uh, in the configure services, it's already pre-configured with add authentication and add Azure uh, Active Directory P2C barrier tokens. So right now, the client should be logged in with the Azure Active Directory P2C uh, account. Then after that, uh, when you submit or you want to access any protected resources in this API, it should the client should pass the parameter or the access token in the header of the request. So this application, what's going to do, it will receive that request, fetch the access token from it, then go back to the Azure Active Directory, this one, to the server application, and they try to validate this token. Hey, if, is this uh, access token for a valid user? If yes, so then, okay, it's going to give you access for uh, that resources. Here we have the weather forecast controller, and as you can see, it's authorized. We will see right now in the next video, we will create the Blazor Web Assembly project. In the Blazor Web Assembly, it needs a little configuration, and we cannot create it from uh, the Visual Studio UI as we have done here, like right click, add a project, and add a Blazor Web Assembly project. We need to create that application from the CMD because at the moment, uh, it's not available to create Blazor Web Assembly web application from uh, the UI of Visual Studio and be configured with individual user account, P2C, uh, individual user account authentication with Azure Active Directory P2C. So after that, we can test how we can get the weather, then we can move forward for something else. That's everything for this session. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.